Hey everyone, welcome back and today we're going to take a look at servo extensions and I'm going to help you select the best one for your model aircraft. So there are two main types of servo extensions, the JR type and the Futaba type. So what's the difference? Is it just the color of the wires or is it something else? Let's find out. Yes, the first notable difference is the color of the wires. So a JR extension uses brown, red and yellow wires, the brown being the negative the red being the positive and the yellow being the signal wire. While in a Futaba type, it will be black, red and white. Do not get confused with polarity. All you have to remember is that the lightest color will always be your signal wire. So that will be your yellow in a JR type and white in a Futaba type. You can also find the wire colors to be black, red and yellow. You can also get twisted wires if you prefer that. Now let's take a look at the connectors. So if I take two JR extensions and connect them in correct polarity, that is signal to signal, it connects. But suppose I accidentally connect it in reverse, you'll notice that I can't push it in. This feature is called safe connect. So this prevents you from connecting your extension in reverse polarity and prevents you from damaging your servos. This is done with the help of angle tabs on the top of the female connector along with camfered edges on the male connector. But in a Futaba connector, it's a big tab on the signal side of the female connector. But you could still connect your wires in reverse because the male end does not have any tabs. But is a JR and Futaba compatible? The answer is yes, they can be connected. But if you take a standard 9 gram servo and try to connect it to a JR extension, you can't. This is because the male end of the servo is very square while the male end for a JR connector has camfered edges. So you'll need to sand the top edges of the male servo end to be able to connect them together. Another factor is that more wires means more weight. This is usually determined by wire thickness and is expressed as an AWG or American wire gauge. So in AWG, the higher the number, the thinner the wire and a lower number signifies a thicker wire. So I took two JR extensions of same length but different gauge thickness, one is 26 and the other is 22 gauge. So if we weigh them, the thinner wire is obviously lighter, but lighter is not always better. If you're making a large model with high torque metal gear servos, then 22 gauge is best for proper current flow. While for smaller models with servos from 19 to 13 grams, 26 gauge is all you need as it's lighter and plus the servo itself comes with the 26 gauge wire. If you can't get servo extensions, you can always make them yourself with some jumper cables. So that's everything you need to know about servo extensions. So if this helped you decide which extension to get, then don't forget to subscribe, leave a like. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.